Hey folks, so I often get the question, how fast will it be until I get shade from my trees in the silvo pasture? Um, so here I wanted to show you, this is my own nursery here in Morgantown, Pennsylvania. And let me show you an example of how quickly you can expect to see shade come out of your pasture. So this right here, this is a black locust. And as you can see, there's a whole row of black locust trees growing here. And this one, that's a five foot plastic tube that you're looking at. So it's five foot and another five, six, maybe seven feet of growth on top of that. So that's at least a, a 10 foot tall tree. And there's a lot of 10 foot tall black locusts in here. So, and these, these are two year old black locust um, so and they would be they would be taller right now except I didn't put a tube on them until this spring um, so they would probably have another foot or two of growth on them if I hadn't if I had put a tube on right away but I was being cheap so I didn't put a tube on right away um, so that's that's about how quickly you can expect to see shade in your pasture now, a 10 foot tall tree is not gonna provide a whole lot of trees, but that's only after two years. So another year, we'd probably be at 15 feet tall. And then another year after that, we might be, we might be at 18, almost 20 feet tall on some of these trees by year four. That's pretty quick in my book. Black locust is gonna be one of the quicker trees to produce any measurable, any measurable shade. Let's go look at some of the other trees in my nursery. So here you have, here's a row of mulberries. And these, the whole nursery is for propagation stock. So these mulberries will be grafted onto for high quality, um, high quality, high yielding mulberry production. So you see these mulberries, some of the taller ones are about six foot tall. I'm about six foot tall, so it's a good, it's a good measuring stick. So some of these are six foot tall by now, um, and this is also year two. And these, the, the mulberries, they have, they have multiple stems. So if you can see this, this one in particular has about seven stems on it. So six to seven feet for some of the tallest mulberries in year two. This is a row of persimmons. And as you can see, not all of them are out of their tube, but most of them are out of their tube. And these are five foot tubes. So five foot, six foot, seven foot tall again in year two. I know some people talk about getting a silva pasture established and in their experience they've they're in year six seven eight and their trees might be 15 feet tall by then um, that's often the case of too much competition too much competition with the tree for um, for nutrients for water uh, these trees have all gotten mulched I mow in between the alleys and they all have their tree shelter. So that creates a, a beneficial microclimate. These are honey locusts. And as you can see, we're looking at maybe six, seven, maybe eight feet tall on some of these. And just about all of them are outside of the tube. Again, this is year two. And again, these are ones that I didn't put in the tube until this year. So year one, they were out of their tube. They didn't have it. They didn't have any microclimate for them. And this spring, I placed tubes on all of them. So they would be probably two feet taller on average if I had placed the tube on them right away. So that's about that's about what you can expect from some of your hardwood trees. We'll continue on the nursery tour over here with my willows and poplars. So give a roundup. So our 
Our mulberries were maybe six feet tall. Our persimmons were often seven feet tall. Same with the honey locusts. The black locusts were often 10 feet tall. And if you're looking for quick shade, this is where it's at. These are my hybrid poplars, one of the one of the varieties that I'm growing here for cuttings. And as you can tell, there's some real height to those guys. So let's see if I can get if I can capture this well. I'm six foot two. And I can't come close to reaching the top there. So that's probably eight, nine feet tall. Um, these are <clears throat> these are second year growth, so I, I planted these as just sticks two years ago. But here's the caveat, is they would be taller if I let them grow taller. Because each one of these, I cut back to the ground, I coppice them to about a foot or two. Actually this whole row I, I cut back down to um, about a half a foot tall this spring. Or over the dormant season so all of the growth that you see right there all that eight nine ten foot of growth is was put on in one season um, so if i let them grow taller and as a single stem each one of these would probably be 10 12 feet tall maybe 14 foot tall with the tallest one um, so that's our hybrid poplar and this as our hybrid willows. Now the perspective gets thrown off a little bit by the video, but I mean, I hope you can tell that these guys are a whole lot bigger than I am. These are these are fun. These are my babies right here. So, um, without measuring them directly, I'd say on average they are going to be at least 10 feet tall. I played a lot of basketball when I was growing up, and those are, those are higher than the rim. So 10, 11, some of them are probably 12 foot tall. And the same thing happened there. I cut them back to, the, to about two feet tall over the dormant season. So all of that growth that you see, about 10 feet worth of growth, is all from this year. And this could, this, these are um, a hybrid willow, hybrid between, um, they're using high, um, Salix alba, so white willow as, as the, the tree stock, and then they hybridize it with something else. Um, so it's a very fast grower. It will colonize a, a site very quickly. It will establish itself. You need to have a decent moisture on the site um but you might be able to see here let's let's try to zoom in and get a good look this right here not only is this 12 feet tall but there's multiple stems on this one because i'd cut it back to about a foot above the ground this is where i'd cut it back to This point right here is where I'd cut it back to. And it regrew. There's probably eight different shoots coming off of that. Two, one is the main shoot. One is, there's a secondary shoot that's a little bit smaller. And then there's a lot of smaller shoots coming off of that. Yeah. So this can serve, these, these trees can serve as um, a single stem tree that's gonna to grow to 50, 60, feet tall and grow and get to be that size very quick compared to most trees or it can also serve as you can manage it as a shrub so I can't hardly even get in here there we go. So right now I'm in a block of willow I'm completely surrounded by 10 or 12 feet of willow and there's no wind in here completely calm 
So this is something that people might be interested in looking at for um, a way, a means of protecting livestock from winds during the winter. Now it's no conifer, um, but there is a lot of there's a lot of stems in here. And this winter I'll do a video about just how much this slows slows the wind down because each one of these features three, four, five, six, maybe even ten stems per piece. And if we cut them again, they'll feature they'll each have more stems than that because they all have they all have so many stems and branches. There's a lot of wind reduction that just happens because of um, because of um, the friction of the winds against uh, against the stems. So we'll uh, we'll exit this and come out the other side. There's a lot of browse material in here. And again, these are only two years old, so they started from just sticks without even, even any roots just two years ago. And now, they're huge. So I think that's about it for us today. We'll call that a wrap. You've watched me long enough now. Um, so, but that gives you an idea of what kind of time horizons we can be looking at for um, for shade coming off of our trees. Um, it's not as long as a lot of people expect expect it to be. If you take care of your trees and you protect them, you put them in a shelter, and the shelters, I would highly, 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 highly rec recommend that because it's going to protect your trees from livestock as well. So if you protect your trees, you put them in a shelter, you mulch them, these are also two-year-old willows, you mulch them, um, the, and you use the right species in the right place, and we can help you determine that, um, then you can expect to have trees that are just like this, six, seven, eight, maybe even ten feet tall after two years. And I'd say within another two or three years at least, we're going to be getting really significant levels of shade, um, levels that would be that livestock would really appreciate during the midst of the summer. Okay, that's all for me now.